The Marvel Universe houses quite a number of splendid mutants, and Angel Salvador is undoubtedly one of a kind. The way she proved her exuberance on becoming Tempest even after getting depowered was praiseworthy. Angel initially suffered a very rough start in her life, living in a mistreating household and surviving a near death experience of getting dissected left her in disgust of her mutant abilities. The progression of this amazing mutant and her unanticipated manifestation of mutant powers had been simply astonishing. In this video, we're going to delve into the captivating journey of this mutant who invariably showed immense courage in the face of danger. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you, and let's begin. Angel Salvador Origins Created by Grant Morrison and Ethan Van Skyver, Angel Salvador made her first appearance in the series New X-Men. At the age of 14, Angel Salvador abruptly exhibited her newly discovered mutant powers and induced a repugnant smell in her bedroom. Upon the horrific manifestation of her mutant powers, she got kicked out of her house by her cold-hearted stepfather regardless of the time. On that lonely night when she slept in the cold outside, Angel swaddled herself in a cocoon and slowly aggressed the shell using her blossoming pair of wings. But she fell asleep before fully understanding the changes that were occurring in her body. To her utter shock, she found herself being held captive by the maniacal organization of U-Men led by John Sublime when she woke up the next morning. The U-Men's motive was to attain boundless strength and establish themselves as a superior third species of empowered humans with mutant abilities. By collecting mutant organs through criminal approaches like smuggling, they implanted them into their bodies through medical procedures. Angel was going to be among those many abducted mutants who were killed by the U-Men to fulfill their sole motive of using her organs to become a new species. Realizing their intention to steal and amputate her wings, Angel desperately tried to escape with the help of her powers. But all her efforts proved futile, and she was captured. At last, fortunately, she was rescued by Wolverine and got herself enrolled at the Xavier Institute. Marvelous Story Arc of Angel Salvador Angel's enrollment at the Xavier Institute After she was saved from the U-Men, Angel was asked to join the team of X-Men. She was also promised to enjoy a safe ambience at the boarding school of the Xavier Institute with good infrastructure. With no alternatives left, she enrolled in the Institute with a lot of hesitation. At the Institute, Angel remained willingly secluded from the other students. She really disliked the popular and attractive students named Emma Frost and Stepford Cuckoos. Angel constantly perceived her own mutant abilities as a liability and wished to cut off her wings. Despite complaining about the extravagant ambience of the school, she resumed being a student at the Institute. Quite contradictory to the secure environment assured to her, she came across a totally different scenario right after a few days of her joining the Xavier Institute. Far from being a safe abode, an atmosphere of menace engulfed the entire school instead. The school got brutally attacked by the U-Men under the instructions of Cassandra Nova, who was the Mumudre, counterpart of Charles Xavier. According to Shi'ar myth, Mumudre were spirits that were the contradictory self of an individual and everyone who was supposed to fight and conquer their Mumadre before taking birth. In his mother Sharon Xavier's womb, Charles was able to fathom the evil nature of Cassandra and preemptively tried to destroy her with the help of his budding psychic powers. However, due to the remarkable hereditary capabilities of Professor Charles Xavier, his Mumadre built a material form constructively becoming a twin. Angel teamed up with the Stepford Cuckoos to fight back Nova and her Shi'ar minions. She accompanied the Stepford Cuckoos along with Emma Frost to retrieve Nova's DNA samples. The samples were instrumental in their attempt to reprogram the alien stuff. During this expedition, Angel discovered Barnell Buhusk, aka the mutant beak, in a disoriented state. She freed him from his coma due to Nova's recent possession of his brain and body. Charles Xavier and Jean Grey ultimately contracted Nova's mind into an infantile state and inserted it inside the alien entity known as Stuff. Stuff was an artificial entity capable of transforming into any desired shape. Hence, with Angel's help, Cassandra Nova was successfully trapped inside Stuff's body. Angel and her lover Beak's Secret After this event, Angel began to get along with her professors and fellow institute mates. And as she got assigned to the mysterious Professor Zorn's special class, Angel grew close to his fellow mate Beak. Eventually, they ended up getting romantically inclined towards each other. Once on the occasion of camping deep into the woods of the Xavier Institute campus, the students faced another conflict against the U-Men. Angel even witnessed Professor Zorn oppressively killing the U-Men who persuaded her to keep it a secret. On the night of the prize dis 
distribution ceremony of the Institute, Angel was appreciated alongside Beak for their commendable heroism in the act of defeating Cassandra Nova. But sadly, none of them could attend their accommodation. On Angel's revelation of her pregnancy to Beak, they were busy crafting a plan to prevent their expulsion from the school. Days later, Angel bred six eggs in the woods located outside the premises of the school. But soon afterwards, Angel's secret got exposed following the suspicious death of Emma Frost. Bishop and Sage investigated the crime and accused Angel with the allegation of shooting her to death, but Beak immediately confessed to have been the murderer as a means to protecting their secret. He expressed the fear of their pregnancy getting disclosed ever since Angel had confided in Emma regarding it during a shopping trip to New York. But later, it was revealed that one of Emma's cuckoos named Esme sired Angel in shooting Emma. Soon, Zorn asserted to the mutant terrorist Magneto's reincarnation and Esme turned out to be working for him. Zorn manipulated Angel and the rest of the special class to enlist in his new brotherhood of evil mutants in their conquest to eliminate the mortal race of humans permanently. Angel, along with the members of the special class, retaliated against Zorn and successfully defeated him. The Exiles and Reality War As the X-Men were recuperating from this exhausting brawl, Beak crossed paths with a group of exiles consisting of individuals from diverse dimensions. He was involuntarily recruited by them to serve in their mission to dethrone King Hyperion. On becoming a part of the reality-hopping team of exiles, he lost access to his actual timeline. Unable to interact with Angel as he abruptly disappeared, Angel was left with a false impression of getting betrayed by her lover. Angel got shattered on getting deserted with her children. After defeating King Hyperion, Beak arrived at the Crystal Palace. He finally managed to return to his own reality in the midst of the reality warp initiated by the Scarlet Witch. In this alternate reality, Angel was unable to recognize Beak. Finally, with the exile's departure, Beak and Angel experienced the end of the House of M. Angel Salvador becomes Tempest. When Wanda recovered the dimension, she took away the powers of all mutants as she voiced no more mutants. Angel, Beak, and five of their six children were instantly depowered facing the after effects of the House of M's end. Upon homecoming and reunion with his family, Beak and Angel got happily married. Shortly afterwards, Night Trasher offered to enroll in his recently formed team of new warriors to battle Tony Stark's Enterprise and the Superhuman Registration Act. Although a little resistant to accept the proposal at first, soon she jumped at the opportunity. Imbued with powers related to wind and the different climatic conditions, Angel retitled herself as Tempest. She got empowered with gadgets that facilitated her control over temperature and anti-gravity flight. Even after weeks of intensive training, the newly formed team was yet to master the high-tech powers allotted to them. They suffered a great loss against a new incarnation of the monster Zodiac in their very first battle as a team. A fellow member of the team Long Strike, formerly recognized as Tattoo, even lost lost his life. Following this tragedy, the team was almost disbanded by Trasher, doubting their sufficiency, but eventually they fought and defeated Alpha Clan, improving their skills. Owing to Night Trasher's hidden identity, there was a rise in disbelief among the team, but soon Trasher won the team's trust back when he showed the prediction system he formulated to trace superhuman activity all over the world. He named the device the Transmap. When the new warriors obstructed Machine Smith's plans of releasing a Technovirus, their efforts temporarily went in vain. Angel and the other warriors were cornered from each other. Struggling miserably for their victory, the new warriors successfully destroyed the villain in the end. But soon afterward, they were chased down by S.H.I.E.L.D.'s cape killers, costing the lives of two of their fellow teammates. After a futile effort in reviving their lost teammates through time travel, the team was finally disbanded by Trasher. As a token of appreciation for their support, Trasher allowed them to keep their high-tech suits. Even after losing their gifted powers, after the dissolution of the new warriors, Angel and Beak assisted Miss America in rescuing the in-betweener by joining a new version of the Teen Brigade. Angel, with Beak's help, invaded Dr. Octopus's hideout and saved him from the Young Masters, ensuring a violent clash. The Teen Brigade defeated the Young Masters, restoring the balance of the cosmos. As a result, Angel and the other members of the New Warriors realized their efficiency and understood their significance of making a difference in the world even without powers. Hence, this realization surely turned out to be a positive upshot of joining the team of new warriors. 
Angel at the Mutant Paradise, Krakoa. With a global epidemic of the Mother Vine virus, it is presumed that Angel retrieved her mutant powers. When Charles Xavier laid the foundation of the island of Krakoa as a safe refuge for the mutant race, all mutants were warmly welcomed. But since Beak's human father was ailing from a rare condition of dementia, he required specific aids. So, Angel and Beak denied their Krakoan citizenship to live with him. Angel relocated to a farmhouse in Pilger, Nebraska with her husband and family with the goal of ensuring every mutant settlement in the Krakoa nation. Armor formed a group to trace the location of the missing mutants. Upon locating Angel and Beak's family farmhouse, she used Krakoan therapeutics to cure Beak's father of his illness to bring them to Krakoa. Unfortunately, the group of Bohem Cartel stalked Armor's team and seized Angel and Beak's children as a negotiation for Krakoan remedial drugs. Angel's family and Armor's team were held captive in the farmhouse for consecutively three days. Angel gradually succeeded in freeing Armor's team with the help of her eroding acidic projections. The gruesome leader of the Bohem Cartel killed Beak's parents after getting defeated at the hands of the mutants ultimately. After a while, Angel and Beak recuperated at the healing gardens of the island of Krakoa. It was found out that the psychic twins Maxime and Manon had accidentally rubbed out all memories of Beak's parents' deaths from Angel, Beak, and their children. Angel then settled with her family at the Academos habitat, which was located on the northern side of Krakoa. Angel soon revived her Tempest identity. She employed the temperature regulating gloves she wore as a member of the group of new warriors. Finally, Angel started training the team of new mutants in Academos at Krakoa. Angel Salvador appearances in the X-Men movies. X-Men First Class In the film X-Men First Class as portrayed by Zoe Kravitz, Angel possessed wings and discharged acetic saliva orally. Her powers were shown a little different as compared to her mainstream Marvel character. Despite working as a stripper by profession, Angel was not content with her job. She left her job when the proposal to join a team of mutants to compete against their rival Sebastian Shaw and the Hellfire Club was put forward by Charles Xavier and Eric Lenshin. But later, on on Shaw's invitation, she joined the Hellfire Club, combating her former teammates. She played an inconsequential role in the Cuban Missile Crisis engineered by Shaw in his timeline. Afterwards, she joined Magneto's Brotherhood Mutants upon the death of Sebastian Shaw. As a member of the team, she helped in saving Mystique, Azazel, and Emma Frost. X-Men Days of Future Past In the movie X-Men Days of Future Past, it was revealed that after joining Magneto's Brotherhood of Mutants, Angel was killed by the agents of the organization Project Wide Awake and her body was massively disfigured. While investigating the Trask Industry Office, Mystique was shocked on finding the autopsy reports of Angel alongside his lover Azazel. Her wings had reportedly been severed as a part of the many experiments conducted on her body. After Magneto escaped from the Pentagon, he was shown to discover a room where the removed wing of Angel Angel was preserved along with Magneto's helmet and the coin that killed Shaw along with Havoc's costume in a glass unit. Alternate versions of Angel Salvador. Akhenaten vanquished Earth, Earth 4321. In the comic book series called Marvel Universe The End, Akhenaten was an agent of the cosmic entity called Order. He annexed the entire universe by using the Heart of the Infinite. During this era, Angel was shown as a member of the X Men team and a student of the Xavier Institute before it got restored to its 616 version. Angel was later seen discussing the occurrence of the recent events with fellow teammates. Also in this timeline, Angel was spotted wearing her flight helmet and the X jacket that looked similar to the future mutant Pixie's attire. Angel in the X-Men Storyline, Too Much Information In the comic book series New X-Men Storyline, Too Much Information, David Allain wanted to experience a world where the mental blocks disturbing the knowledge of his acquired powers were removed. To grant his wish, Danny and Emma constructed a delusional world for him by merging their powers. In this dream world, Angel was shown as a part of the extreme X-Men team led by Bishop and Storm in her 30s. Angel along with the rest of the X-Men worked for President David Allain as a security unit. But in the end, Angel and her team got killed by Julian Keller, a.k.a. Hellion, when they were assaulted by the corrupted Hellions and the New Mutes. Angel in the House of M storyline In the House of M storyline, Angel was a globally acclaimed supermodel. She appeared in magazine articles, posters, billboard advertisements, and television commercials all over the world. When Beak appeared in this timeline after his mission with the Exiles got over, he instantaneously started looking for Angel and their children. Unaware of the reality, contortion, 
Upon seeing Angel's alluring billboard and advertisement, Beak mistook the entire scenario. He misinterpreted her to be working as a model in order to feed their children and also suspected the possibility of her finding a new partner. At that time, Beak saw Angel coming from a party and walking outside her apartment building. Upon seeing her, he started asking about their children very loudly. Initially, she misapprehended him to be an obsessed fan pleading for a photograph, but soon she got agitated upon realizing his claims of not taking good care of their children, which she she absolutely had no idea about. She scolded him to lower his volume and stormed off, commenting not remembering having any kids with him. Later on the same night, Proteus, the only son of geneticist Moira McTaggart, had possessed the body of Angel Salvador. In order to know more about the exiles, Angel, under Proteus's manipulation, allured him to her skyline apartment. When Proteus revealed to Beak about the possession and his true identity of being a serial killer known by the name Mutant X, Beak struck back, but to no avail. Beak got tortured by the possessed Angel for hours, until the invasion of Beak's teammates and Proteus's mother, Dr. Moira McTaggart. During the intense fight, Moira sacrificed herself by successfully shooting her son in the chest. Between this dispute and injured Proteus abandoned Angel's ailing body, at the brink of death's door, Angel was healed with the ingestion of Dr. Connor's remedial serum by Blink. At the same time, Heather Hudson sensed the restoration of Earth-616 and teleported back to the Crystal Palace of Panopticon with the remaining exiles. After the recovery of the timeline, Angel and Beak found themselves right outside their cottage home and back to the Xavier Institute. What makes Angel Salvador so powerful? This influential mutant exhibited self-healing properties by fabricating a rejuvenating cocoon. Angel's durability towards the velocity of such strong winds magnified her personality. Adding to that, her body's resilience to low temperatures even at high elevation flights and her lungs' capacitance of easy breathing during super speed flights were two of her exceptional qualities. The ultrasonic sound waves emitted by her wings during her brisk, swift flights were deafening. As Tempest, she could easily direct weather by adjusting the temperatures according to her will. Using her advanced gadgets, she was capable of creating both warm weather by generating high temperature thermal blasts, as well as cold weather by producing icicles, frost, and other ice objects. These phenomenal superhuman abilities of ejecting corrosive acid, winged flight, and self-healing properties played an instrumental role in making her a formidable opponent for her rivals. Marvelous Verdict Angel Salvador initially started off as a self-detesting mutant who was pretty impudent and defensive, but she underwent a dramatic character evolution on her journey with the X-Men and the world of mutants. Although fostering hatred for her classmates at the Xavier Institute in the beginning, her dynamics with them changed over time. She gradually bonded with them with the advent of time. From accepting her mutation to receiving an honor for her bravery, Angel started taking pride in her works. Angel's remarkable abilities and living status increased the chance of her appearance in the near future. Indeed, Angel gave justice to her name as she flourished into becoming a fully bloomed hero from an underdog. Her conspicuous addition to the team of X-Men might influence Marvel to give another shot at nurturing her character further in future storylines. And we are really thrilled to witness Angel's upcoming adventures considering her great perseverance. If you like her content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks everyone!